MJ Hobby Corner here. How is everyone? Hope everyone is well. In this video, I'm going to have another scratch built and I'm thinking about having this as a regular thing in the channel, uh, building models just from scratch. There's quite a few models that I have planned uh, to build and uh, most of these will be uh, in, for wargaming. Uh, of course, a couple of pieces could be made for display purposes, you know, that also works. Um, but for this part, uh, piece, I decided that I want to build a French char, uh, the French char 2, I believe it is, the model 2C. So the char 2C, which was a uh, tank designed uh, in, from the 1920s all the way uh, to 1940. Uh, it was not deployed. It was designed during World War I, but was not deployed uh, till after the war, actually. Um, did not go into service. And it was uh, designated as a super tank, basically. It was the largest operational tank of the time. So it, the thing was huge. I mean, it, had, it, it was huge. So I decided to use... Uh, that tank, that vehicle, as an inspiration, because it is a very interesting vehicle, and uh, build my own uh, from scratch, and then use it in my one-page rules, probably for the Human Defense Force or something like that. Uh, this thing, uh, this model that I'm making, is actually quite large, so it is going to be a fortress tank or something to that effect, right? Um, and I thought that the Char 2C was perfect for it. Now the Char uh, came in various, uh, or Char, probably pronouncing that wrong. It's not Char, but Char. So my model is going to be a little shorter. Uh, the sh the, this vehicle was generally uh, quite slender and long. It was huge, but it was slender and long, a very long hull. Uh, mine is going to be a little bit shorter, right? Uh, it's It's... And that's just how I'm going to build it. And um, but I think it would be perfect for what I want to use it for. And okay, so to start with, I have my ruler handy, and I simply uh, begin to draw the sides of the hull on the cardboard piece that I'm going to use. This model is going to be largely cardboard, foam, and a few other pieces, probably some recycled material as well. So what I'm doing, I'm using uh, my phone, uh, an image on my phone as inspiration uh, in order to get the shapes, the primary shapes of the tank correctly. And this will be the side portion of the tank uh, where the um, tracks will eventually uh, be assembled. Okay, so that's what I'm doing right now, just drawing and uh, getting my shapes right and of course using my ruler as much as possible sometimes I go freehand uh, but most of the time I use that ruler uh, to get things straight so once I have the side of the hull and there do you see it I, I just drew it okay and uh, there I have a, the picture of the tank okay and that's what I'm using as inspiration and uh, I need four of these pieces, so I have to cut out four of these uh, pieces. And what I do is I generally uh, use one piece as a template to cut the other. As you can see here, uh, that's what I'm doing, kind of tracing. And I angle my pencil at times to try and get as close as possible to the original piece. So this allows me to do multiple copies. And of course, once I'm finished, I can uh, actually use my filing paper and make sure that the cardboard is nice and straight. And these are the four pieces to the hull. There is a right and left side. Each side has two pieces. Okay. And uh, that's it. That's, that's uh, one part done. So now here I have to do the lower part. Uh, uh, which is like a mud guard or something. Uh, it, it is just above the wheels where the track is going to go. And this piece uh, is separate from the rest of the side of the hull. 
So again, I'm, I'm drawing, uh, looking at the pictures, and uh, at times I'm also adding kind of my own little uh, flair. To so I, I use my uh, filing paper uh, when necessary in order to get the cardboard edges nice and straight and eliminate any little, you know, uh, bits of cardboard that might get in the way later. Um, I also uh, take all the pieces and file them together and this is a way to keep them all kind of the same size. Uh, so here I'm just putting together all of the pieces and you can see um, that each the, the siding has two component pieces to it. And you'll see that later as I put it together. But basically what I'm doing now is just making sure everything fits the way I want to uh, before using my hot glue gun and then gluing everything. I'm also marking where, you know, where that piece is going to fit on the hull. And that's what I was showing earlier. Okay, so now I use my hot glue gun and the area that I marked where the piece is going to sit, I, I just uh, put some glue on there and then uh, glue it in. And I will probably file the this bottom piece as well uh, along the bottom edge so it'll straighten up. Just make sure that it's nice and straight. Okay. And there it is. There is the siding with the full piece attached to it. And I have to do this a couple of times. And what I'm doing here is now tracing my, uh, my side, the side of the hull, using it as a template to trace on foam. Because I'm going to use foam in the interior to uh, give me the thickness that I want. Uh, what this does is that it will uh, strengthen the piece and uh, it just makes it feel more solid. I really like doing this with foam. And this is uh, the white foam that's a little denser than um, you know the, the, most of the white foam that you see out there. So, and again, I'm using my ruler and just straightening up some lines. Uh, please excuse the fact that the piece is not exactly in the middle of the camera, but uh, yeah, this is a new camera that I'm using, so I'm getting used to it. All right. So now I take my uh, Sacta blade and very carefully uh, cut that foam uh, so that I get the, the piece that I want. And I'm also doing the other side at the same time as well. And here, uh, what I do here is I take advantage of the straight edge of the foam. That's kind of the best thing to do. Um, this way I have at least one edge that is perfectly straight and then you know uh, the other edge is, is uh, detailed with the ruler it's done with the ruler so so I'm, I'm getting ready to cut uh, real soon and um, and then we can attach that foam to the one of the sides of the hull Okay, and there it is. Uh, there is the foam piece that's going to go inside uh, the hull, the sides of the hull, and this is where the track arrangement will be later on. And um, here I am assembling the other side, because of course there are two sides, two opposite sides, one left, one right. Okay, and there's both sides, both with their foam inserted in them. And you'll notice that one of the hull sides has a notch, and that's a small well for a machine gun. So what I'm doing now is attaching the uh, top portion of the siding, because I can't leave the foam exposed like that. And of course, uh, later on, this is where the track is going to run. Now, in order to straighten, make sure that things are straight, you see that I'm pointing to a little line there that I made. I'm going to have to cut some notches into the cardboard so that it fits nicely uh, up above. And you'll see that in a minute. Uh, I'll show a, a detail of it. But basically, I cut these little notches uh, in order that everything is nice and straight. Uh, and that's so that... 
Oh, uh, there it is, right there. There's the little notch that I cut. If the camera will focus, there we go. I cut that little notch so that the little uh, guard piece uh, fits through and then everything is nice and straight. And I also add a bit of cardboard there to strengthen the side piece. And there's a perfect view of the notch that I had to cut into the front piece uh, that's going to, you know, uh, cover the foam. So that's basically it. Doing those things uh, do help a lot to keep things nice and straight. Um, everything's looking good so far and there's the front area you can see the little well with the machine gun uh, where the machine guns gonna go it was a very strange vehicle very interesting vehicle too so there X marks the spot where I'm gonna drill a little hole and that's gonna be for the machine guns later on so here in this part of the video now what I'm doing is working on the middle section of the hull and this is a very tricky portion here as well now my sides are pretty much uh, done but now I have to make the middle and for that what I do is I use the siding as a template and here's the top part of the hull right and it's all notched you can see the notches where it's gonna fit there you go right on top there and that's what I have to create. Now this part doesn't utilize uh, foam. This part's going to be assembled as is. So there I'm just fitting the, the pieces, the top part, with the side of the hull. So I use the side of the hull that I already assembled. And I draw, begin to draw the middle section of the hull so that I know which areas are going to stick out from the side of the hull. This is very important. Um, and I, I, I do things by eye, but in a way, this is also measuring, you know, uh, the piece. And there I also mark where, where uh, it's going attached. And so part of the rear end is going to stick out a little bit. That was very important. And there you go. I, I pretty much assembled the middle of the hull and I attached one of the sides to it. Now to attach the sides, what I do is I, I use a lot of craft sticks. Uh, none of this is going to be seen. It's all hidden by the tracks. So the, the track siding there is going to hide all that. But this helps to give me a little more elevation so that the siding fits nice and straight. And it also strengthens the model. So there you go. Uh, there's fitting both uh, ends of the pieces that I just made to the middle section of the hull. Okay, and I'm just like adjusting things a little bit and uh, here I cut out a little piece which is going to attach to the front guard there. And that's gonna seal up my uh, front of the hull. So there you go, that's pretty much the uh, work I did today. I did a little bit more work and there you can see me I'm going to be using these really large buttons for the uh, where the tracks are going to go. Basically one of the wheels. And here is Julie's tank that I made uh, earlier. Uh, her hover tank, uh, which is also a transport. And here is the new fortress tank that I'm building. So... Julie's tank and my tank are pretty much, uh, you know, in terms of size, pretty much there. You know, this one has the wings, which makes it a lot wider. So, hope. All right, folks. So this is as far as I got today uh, on this vehicle. Uh, now I positioned the pieces of foam here that are going to act as filler. Uh, for these areas, uh, there's going to be a small turret over here and then the main turret will be located here I will encompass this whole area. I will probably do it out of nice dense foam and uh, Well, that's about it. There's a couple of machine guns that will be positioned in here And of course we have to do the tracks now the tracks are going to be very tricky uh, They will elevate the vehicle a little bit uh, this vehicle is very close to the ground 
Um, this is what I'm going to use as the spokes to run the track through. There will be uh, two of these, uh, four of these in front actually. Two sets uh, per spoke in order to get that track to go through here. Now there has to be another one back here. And that's what's going to hold the track on the end there. So uh, that'll be next time in that. Uh, this needs a lot of work still, a lot of detail. Uh, when we get to the detail phase, there will be a lot of work. So I suspect at least another two videos at least uh, before we start to see this finished. And of course, everything has to get painted. All right, folks, thank you very much. And this is the Char 2B the uh, France's super tank uh, from World War I slash World War II. And uh, this is going to be in one of my uh, one-page rules armies, probably the uh, Human Defense Force. All right. Talk to you guys in the next video.